Hi, everyone, and welcome to episode 12 of Aura, the Ancient Nord, part of Character Crusade Unbound, random Skyrim roleplay. Uh, we're clearing in the middle of clearing out a fort. We just found a raise zombie book, which might come in play later because we are slowly remembering what it means to be a wizard or whatever you call it. And we're uh, getting a little better at lockpicking, maybe. I'm actually pretty good at this game, uh, the lockpicking part of it, usually. All right, what do we got here? So some novice robes, which we're not going to be a restoration specialist, uh, so we'll probably disenchant those. So we found a key to this door, and there's another wizard inside. Who's about to attack us, of course? So Belrand uh, summons his trusty ghost wolf. And we attack the Necromancer. Now, if you remember, at the end of our last episode, we enchanted our axe with fire. And we're fighting a bunch of ice wizards, so this is a perfect synergy. They left this for us to make uh, in their own headquarters. It's great. Uh, turning the tables on these guys. All right, we have a chest over here with a bow that's better than the bow we have, so maybe we'll end up using that. And we have all these scrolls. I never remember to use scrolls, but I think it will be good for this character. So I'm going to try to remind myself to use a scroll. Oh, this wolf is so proud. It actually survived a battle. I usually end up killing it because it gets in the way. Uh, we have some books over here. Nothing too interesting. But we do have a few soul gems. Now we still need to make uh, somehow capture souls ourselves. That's going to be a big turning point with this character. I think but for now we just have to find them already filled so wow it got really intense during that um searching the music very dramatic for finding that so who knows all right so there's some more people downstairs we hop down and uh, again we don't know what even killed this one I think it fell in its own trap honestly or something and there we go bell has got his pet wolf back we're just staying back here Another ice wizard who is going to get inflamed with our bone axe. She's running. Oh, but now that she's healing herself. So we're chasing after her. Now, if you remember, we used to chase down deer like that. But we're pretty used to chasing things down. And we've already used up charge in this axe. So our, our enchanting skill is really low. So that's it. We got two wizards with one uh, petty soul gem. But we need to find more soul gems, as I was saying. All right, so now we get one of these books, Conjure Familiar. Yes, we could have our own dog just like that. We don't want it. I'm not going to use that. It gets in the way. I like conjuring Dremoras and other things like that, though. So maybe end up conjuring, but never, ever, ever. The familiar. Maybe at the beginning of a game for a certain type of character. With no other, you know, not two of them. Forget it. All right. We have a living skeleton attacking us, which is... You know, that's still bizarre to our character. She's still new. Uh, her memory's really hazy. She knows these things exist, but... All right, so that's just the door that was from the other side. We noticed the bar there when we were killing that that first mage. So we actually cleared out the whole thing. That, that just led back to the other part. But we didn't thoroughly uh, loot or clean out the outside. So we're just searching around now looking to see if there's anything out there. And there is. There's a wizard down there. So, we're just going to wait for it to pass, drop down, even though we don't have flames on this. I mean, this ice isn't really doing a ton of damage. We're in Nord. We are used to the ice. You know, it's like uh, probably fuel to us <laughs> to a certain extent. So, here we go again, chasing deer. I mean, necromancers. And cornering them and slicing them to bits. This is what we do best, uh, chasing down our prey. So, that made it actually easier. Well, obviously. Well, usually when they're running, I can't even catch up to them with other characters. But uh, this character is great at that for some reason. So we're back on the road. It's getting foggy and dark out. And um, we're kind of just going to head back to our campsite, I think, is our plan right here. But if you remember a few episodes ago, we crossed this, uh, you know, roadblock thing, toll with these bandits and we did pay the toll but we made a sudden move or something so they started attacking us and we ran but now we have Belrand on the way back so we're just gonna take out all these bandits 
no problem with this guy. Look at him. He's already got his bow out. He's opening the door himself. I'm going to hang back. Oh, we have an archer out here. No big deal. This guy he has got a giant hammer. We just got to flank him. She's got some sort of ward. Again, just go up to the side while she's dealing with Belrand. Oh, I hit Belrand a little there. So I'm going to heal for a second. Got two up here. Oh, and there's an archer back there. We'll take care of the archer while Belran wraps those guys up. I'm getting to the point I'm pretty good at one-handed now, just slicing these guys with uh, three hits. And as far as my level uh, you know, of difficulty, I'm not exactly sure what it's called, but I'm not at the highest. I'm not at the lowest. Probably at the second or third highest. Uh, probably third. <laughs> I forget all the, all the grades on this uh, game, but... It's, so it's not quite that challenging, but it's not quite that easy either. And there's no fighting overhauls on this uh, playthrough. I'm not much of a fighter, but I do enjoy it. Uh, Outlaws and brigands are the especially I like with a companion. They prey on their own countrymen. And because I, I like the strategy of distracting them and getting them from the side, or, or you know things like that. And this guy hates brigands. I mean, I love uh, Belrand's commentary on these guys. He you know, lays down some type of moral code where these guys are the worst. And that's how I yeah. really feel that way in Fallout with the uh, Raiders, the if you watch my other series. Ah, just kidding. All right. So we found a staff, and uh, that's the other thing I love about Belran. I love him fighting with staffs. So we're also over encumbered. So we're going to unload some stuff onto this guy. He's got a staff of Halphones and Fire. So, we're going to keep one of them, maybe. Nah, we'll give them both. I love it. He, he'll do two-handed, uh, you know, staff sometimes. I like that. What else do we have for Belrand? We gave him a cloak, and we're going to give him a hood. So, it's cold in Skyrim. We should wear a cloak. And now we have all this junk. Deadwood, firewood. This stuff is so heavy. This stuff we should learn to leave at the campsite, but we're doing a lot of hunting. We have all these bones. Some of these bones weigh a lot. Superb. That weighs a lot. I don't even know what you're supposed to do with it. It's like scrimshaw. We'll do something with it later, but for now, uh, we gave him some torches. Lead on then. And look at that. He's going to light up the place for us. It's pretty dark here, but... He's not going to stick near us, so we're getting out our candlelight spell. I don't really ever use a torch, honestly. I've seen some Let's Plays where people use torch, and I, I love it, actually. I love the atmosphere, so I'm going to maybe start doing that. But for now, we have Belran doing that, and we're still so curious about magic. It's almost like, oh, yeah, we can do magic. Uh, right, we have this candlelight spell. It's not something instinctive to us, but in a deep way it is. But we just keep having to remind ourselves to do it. Which is kind of how I play the game. All right, so here's another cloak. Uh, we're just going to throw that on. It's gold out. And I do love these cloaks, honestly. It's one of my favorite things about these mods is the the backpacks, the cloaks. I love it. This is like a real bear. Like, <laughs> whoever made this cloak just left the claws right on it. So a uh, little wild there. I don't know that we're necessarily going to keep that one on. Because the thing is, if you're wearing a cloak like that with the claws still on it, you got to kill that bear yourself, I would think. I mean, it's a matter of pride. Oh, here, we still have one left. No. Meanwhile, we're trying on the clothes outside of all her buddies. The chief is still in here sleeping, or I don't know. All right. So, this is a great little camera angle here through the door. Yeah, and we just double teamed her. She didn't have a chance. There was no strategy involved there. We just pummeled her, cornered her, and just sheer numbers. Uh... Look, she's got 100 gold, a nice war axe. Now, we're not going to use that because we build our own. And look, this is a great outfit. Uh, we might have to try this on. And a nice helmet, too. But we have a really fancy uh, special helmet. So, we're not going to use her helmet. But I think we're going to wear that outfit. It doesn't have that much blood on it. And if it does, so what? It's going to get more anyway. First, we're going to check out what's in this chest. We got some gems, a soul gem, and another scroll, which we're going to have to start remembering to use those in the heat of battle. 
We haven't really gotten cornered or anything where we need to resort to something like that. You know, these we can slice most of these bandits so far and wizards. All right. Well, Belran's looking pretty good. So now we're going to try on this new, I don't know how to say that word really, hauberk. And that looks great. A little dark, so uh, let's bust out the candlelight spell for a second. And then we're going to check this out. And we'll be back next time in our new and improved aura, the Ancient Nord. Starting to find her place in this world. <laughs>